Alexandra from Dolphin Imaging. I am Dolphin Imaging Distributor. Today I want to uh, post a video uh, about uh, how to optimize 3D datasets in Dolphin Imaging 1195. This is a common question uh, because uh, uh, it could be possible that you have uh, some kind of uh, uh, out of memory uh, errors when you plan your 3D cases. And so I want to clarify uh, the best way to import 3D datasets and how to optimize them correctly in Dolphin Imaging. So let's start uh, from the beginning. I have a patient, I have created already a time point here. So uh, we go to 3D and uh, instead of using import new DICOM, we will uh, go to this option here, import new DICOM with downsizing option. Basically, the downsizing option lets you to change the voxel size uh, when you import a DICOM, so we can make uh, the voxel size uh, a little bit bigger, and this will reduce the resolution and reduce as well the uh, size of the DICOM, still keeping the quality in a good level so you can perform a correct uh, 3D planning. So let's go to import new DICOM with downsizing tools option. So from here I go to select my uh, DICOM file. That in this case it's my own scan. So I select the first file of the scan. And then from here you see I have the possibility to choose the downsizing uh, value. So zero is no downsizing, 50% is the maximum downsizing, the suggested, the recommended uh, downsizing is 30%, but you can still try something in the middle, in the, in the between, between zero and 30. Uh, I normally choose 20, uh, so let's go with 20%, for example. Uh, if you are not sure, you can keep this on 30%. Okay, let's keep 30%, so, and then downsize and import now. This will uh, create a, a new DICOM file that is basically uh, with a voxel size that is the 30% uh, larger than the original one. So here we have the, uh, the DICOM, and if we go to view DICOM header information, you can see we have here the new values so we have uh, uh, the voxel size in this case is uh, 0 0.698 okay so uh, the uh, downsizes value is 30 percent this is really recommended to make uh, possible a 3d planning without out of memory this is the very first step so when you have this voxel size something uh, larger than 0 0.4, 0 0.5, of course, depends also on the uh, resolution, so the number of slices that you have, you should be okay, right? So downsize before to import the DICOM. The other step that I want that you need to perform is uh, the runtime optimization. So we go to options and we run this runtime optimization tool. We go to optimize and uh, what is this optimization basically the idea is to re remove uh, the voxel that represent the air around the head of the patient so you can see we have this uh, uh, segmentation value here if i move this all the way to the left you see i have this uh, uh, basically uh, representation of the air voxels that I am not interested in and right now they are in the memory okay so moving this slider basically you can make a segmentation uh, when you can see the soft tissue of the patient like this and this will go to save 58% uh, of your memory that it's quite a lot my suggestion is to keep a little bit of noise like this uh, this is the way I normally optimize my DICOMs uh, the only reason is that uh, sometimes, basically, you are going to remove all the voxels that are in a um, density with a density that is lower than this value. So all the way down here, you will remove all the voxels. So sometimes you can have some uh, part of the patients, like, for example, condyles, that may be softer than the soft tissue. So to avoid to uh, remove this part of the patient, I 
prefer to keep some noise that for me is like if they represent the condyles in the same density range so still we have 54 percent of uh, uh, saving of memory so when we do this we go to optimize and exit and then uh, i can save yes and this will resave and now the total estimated uh, saving is 48 percent so this is the way you can start uh, a 3d case you need to do the, all the steps before to start a 3d planning otherwise uh, you need to re-import the DICOM. The runtime optimization can be done anytime, but of course my suggestion is to perform this step at the very beginning. Okay, so the other important thing it's about the segmentation of the surfaces that you will do in the 3D surgery. Uh, to make an example, uh, I will uh, make a, a segmentation here, but it's the same in the 3D surgery. So let's assume that I go to uh, sculpt my volume I use the sculpting tool just to make uh, uh, a surface. Uh, so let's take, for example, just a, a little piece of uh, bone structures like this. Right, then I cut out everything outside. Right, now we can go to uh, create surface from volume like this. All right, and this is gonna be very similar to the option that you have in the surgery. Basically the surface create at resolution you see here you have full good and lower so always choose uh, good if you go to full you have an additional option that basically uh, in which you can define the number of vertices that you want to create but this is going to create a surface that is way larger and that you will use much more memory so you can stay on the unless you have very small uh surface then it makes sense to go to full if you take just a little piece of, pa of, of patient but if you want to segment the mandible the maxilla and so on let's stay on good and then create the surface this is the same will be the same in 3d surgery and you will have still a very good representation of your surface so i hope that this uh three ints will help you to make uh, uh, a better um, segmentation and to import uh, better uh, in a better way the 3d data sets and to avoid uh, out of memory errors thank you and see you in the at the ao i am right now traveling i am in milano waiting in the hotel um tomorrow morning i have my flight to miami if you come to the ao see you there cheers